Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. We are in a crisis, uh, on, on, on the, and the, the first and the economic side of things. I, I know, I know. There's a lot we can say that, but we'll, we'll get to that. In a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get to that because when you say people have been satisfied economically, that that that, that is uh, that can be argued, and we'll get to that shortly. But still, on the party with the ongoing legal issues, um, uh, especially with Mr. Mao Sampa and this extraordinary conference, how has this also impacted the party? So the uniqueness of our situation as part of the front is that what we're going through is not self-inflicted. It is sponsored. And it's not even a debate that we have to spend, you know, uh, hours discussing. The Zambian people know that uh, Mr. and the UPND, they are the ones that, uh, you know, out of fear and uh, desperation, seeing the fact that Patriotic Front is not disintegrating as they had anticipated. They were hoping that uh, the unit of the party would be affected by the fact that we have lost the election. When that was not, you know, forthcoming... I mean, they've denied it. Are you able to prove that they, that they are? Because they've denied it several times from the chief government spokesperson to... I mean, he himself in his conferences... Is distanced himself from, from these allegations that you've been making? You see, when you are dealing with liars, uh, I don't think you have to uh, go by what they say. You have to go by what the, the actions they take. Uh, and in this case, how is it that uh, a guy, an individual, would announce, uh, issue uh, some notice that I'm going to have a retreat to celebrate independence? And then uh, the entire government machinery is activated to go and, uh, you know, <laughs> grace that particular, you know, uh, event. The entire police battalion here in, in Lusaka con converged at Munungushi Conference Center to go and protect, you know, and, you know, surround uh, uh, that criminal enterprise. Um, with the hope that uh, they will be able to create faction, you know, factions within the party. To their disappointment, they, of course, as it were, before even that event uh, took place, you are aware that the police disclosed that they started clearing names of office bearers even before the so-called conference was to be held. It was purely a criminal enterprise undertaken with the support and sponsorship of those who were in government, looking at the way institutions of government were abused to achieve what now is uh, considered as a, you know, the, the status of um, Mr. Mao Samp. Uh, over and above that, after that whole criminal enterprise at Mungushi, uh, the police also being abused to try and clear, you know, fingerprints within few hours, without following the due process that is expected of that particular process, you know, uh, the registrar at the time of the registrar society, uh, the chief registrar did uh, uh, indicate to uh, the police and to everybody that this cannot be admitted. It is illegal. We have in our custody the constitution of patriotic front which has not been followed and we have a duty to make sure that at least the basic minimum in terms of adherence to the constitution is followed and this falls short of that. What, uh, what was the next thing? She refused to change office bearers. The next thing was that she was hounded out of office. All those actions point to what? Forget about uh, uh, this, uh, you know, Cornelius Mwetwa that, that, that says things without really processing. I mean, his president will declare a hunger disaster and he will be in southern province to contradict his own president. There's no hunger, you know, we are food secure, look at the sheds. Such kind of people, you can't go by what they, they say. You go by what they do because their actions speak louder than their words. So there is enough evidence to show 
that uh, this uh, attempt to create factions on the patriotic front is sponsored by UPND. We have been, as it were, uh, 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 speaking also to the judiciary because of the confidence we have and because of the fact that we are alive to the fact that regardless of uh, what happens in a country, in a society, if the sacred institution called the judiciary remains steady and centered, you know, the shenanigans that citizens do, the shenanigans that people like, you know, Misaka in the who's the uh, head of the executive and the ruling party, whatever they do, you have, you are guaranteed that justice will be meted out. Um, but as it were, there's been a lot of delays in court to have this matter resolved. And you can see from the maneuvers every time, because the real question around this issue is that needs to be answered is whether what uh, Mao Sampa did on, on the 24th, you know, is legal. And I'm sure the courts will be uh, competent enough to res mm -hmm. deal with that. But the Zambian people are getting desperate because uh, by the very act of sponsoring that, you know, arrangement, the democracy of this country is under threat. Look at how even institutions like ECZ have been rooted. in. The first point was the, the appointment of UPND, non-UPND cadres. The chairperson of the commission there, Madam Zanomis, uh, she's a UPND cadre. It is a fact. McDonald Chipenzi, a commissioner uh, at ECZ, is a UPND cadre, you know, and it's a fact. Uh, this uh, Casaro, the in executive director, we know his affiliation and one of the reasons why he was, he left that institution. And he has been taken there because of his affiliation to UPND. So ECZ, even in his conduct, not what they say, in their conduct, for example, the law does not provide that um, uh, ECZ, for example, begin to cherry pick who should stand, who should be a candidate, which they are doing now. The law provides that uh, when, for example, there is an election, a by-election, candidates will go and file in, whether independent or sponsored by a political party. And after they have filed in their nominations, you know, it is uh, uh, the law provides 14 days for which anybody who is aggrieved uh, or thinks that the uh, one who have filed in nomination or their, their nomination papers have been accepted, does you know, um, that process is not legally undertaken they have recourse to go to court to go and challenge the nomination. And it is the court that is supposed to determine whether somebody, you know, uh, qualifies to or they uh, qualify to participate in that election or not. Um, uh, but what has happened is that ECZ, first of all, they, are, they, they started with the Kabushi and the Kwacha, uh, where they went and said, no, uh, as far as we are concerned, we will not allow Bowman and the John Malangi to participate in these by-elections. We went to court as it were the drama and jargon in court. We were having a situation where one court says one thing, another court says something else, which brought into question um, how the judiciary is operating today. What was the end result? The end result is that the constitutional court has ruled that ECZ was offside. But that is after the damage and destruction has already been undertaken. And two individuals who carried and enjoyed the mandate of the rectorates of Kabushi and the rectorates of Kwacha are on the streets today, different charges because of compromised institutions of, gov of so, government. So, 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 so. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.